Okay, we're back here live in uh, Silicon Valley. We're at the San Jose Convention Center. This is SiliconANGLE and Wikibon's exclusive coverage of Hadoop Summit. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. This is day one wrap up here inside theCUBE. I'm John Furrier, joined with Dave Vellante and uh, Jeff Kelly. Dave Vellante, the co-founder of Wikibon, Jeff Kelly, big data analyst. Jeff, this is your wheelhouse. Dave, uh, another great day co-hosting theCUBE. Guys did an amazing job. Um, so this is a summary in day one. A lot of action. We had the top brass on the cube here from Hortonworks. We had Amr Awadal on Cloudera. We had some startups. We had just some tech gurus. This was truly a tech athlete performance from the guests. And tomorrow, same thing. We're going to have Jonathan Gray, who's now the CEO of Continuity, Ben Werther, CEO of Plat4, upcoming startups, and a slew of other great guests. So I got to ask you, Dave, first, um, you know, it's great to come and do these shows because we're out in the trenches, we're out with the, with the guys making it happen, building the industry. We're at IBM Edge, we're at HP Discover, we're at uh, Velocity, Fluent, all these other events. This event here, compare and contrast this event relative to what's happening in, out, out in those other events, and the top story in your mind here today. Well, John, I mean, we're clearly seeing the maturation of the Hadoop. Uh, when we first started covering this space, it was what is Hadoop, and then it, so that evolved into how can I use it, and that evolved into, okay, who in my organization is really going to own this, and what's my data architecture going to look like? Now, we certainly heard from the community here today that, and Merv, we had Merv on, a su substantial portion of folks said they're not, not planning any kind of big data projects and initiatives this, this year, or the next two years, but that means about 30%, but 70% are, so you have a lot of activity going on there. I think there's still tons of uncertainty as to where that, initiative really belongs. And I think there's a dissonance between the business line and the IT people. And the other thing that we're hearing that's a sign of maturation is security, security, security. You put your data into a Hadoop system and all the security policies and edicts go away. Um, and you're essentially starting from ground zero. And so you're he seeing the community rush to really provide that capability. We're going to be talking to some folks tomorrow, particularly the guys at Squirrel, about what all that means. And then the other thing I think my big takeaway from today is a lot of ways to skin a cat, John. You got Hortonworks, which is the, you know, the anchor sponsor of this event and the, you know, the, 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 the primary um, uh, 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 contributor here of this event saying, uh, you know, the lightning rod, it's got to be all pure open source. And then you've got you know, Cloudera, which is kind of in between saying, look, we're, oh, we love open source. We're going to add value on top of that and we're going we're to do balance. MapR is even a little more to the right of that spectrum saying, hey, we love open source too, but we're going to drive harder and harder to solve those customer problems, and they all seem to be, you know, doing well in the marketplace. Uh, as Amr said, you know, in the early days there were probably, you know, dozens of Linux <laughs> distributions. Today there's still five or six, and uh, I think he's implying that you're going to see some similar things in the Hadoop world. Jeff Kelly, what's your thoughts? Obviously, you're covering the space, and you had a lot of prep coming in. You're talking to all the uh, the companies, and you know they're competitors in each other. Uh, and you're talking to customers, you're talking to end users. What's your take, given that you're tracking this sector? What's your take of Hadoop Summit uh, today? What, what's your take on what's happening? Well, I think. Uh, Dave hit the nail on the head with this is all about Hadoop growing up, uh, becoming a an enter truly an enterprise grade platform. Um, you know that's we heard that you know here last year as well, but there's been huge progress since then. Uh, we're hearing a lot around data governance, around um, access controls, as Dave said, security. Uh, so so these are clearly questions you start asking inside an enterprise when you're moving from a little test environment with a, a few nodes, uh, Hadoop nodes, and you're doing some testing and you're experimenting with some algorithms and seeing if you can uh, find some interesting insights to when you start moving to production and you wanna actually want to start exposing real customer data to Hadoop, to these applications you're building on top of Hadoop, uh, exposing those applications to your internal workforce, maybe even outside your organization. And that's when all these questions around security, governance, data quality, et cetera, uh, come into play. You've got to take those into consideration and I think we're starting to see more and more of that uh, conversation happen, and we're seeing that here uh, this week. The other big story, I think, is the continuing, um, what I would say is a, a major battle for the kind of the hearts and minds of the Hadoop community. Uh, is it going to be open source 100%? Is it going to be uh, some version, some, some mixed version, half or somewhat pr proprietary with some open source Hadoop components? What is this platform going to look like in a year? Um, which distribution ultimately is going to win? So that's clearly um, an area that's still uh, up for debate. Uh, was at the 
uh, one of the panel discussions today was around SQL on Hadoop and the different approaches to doing that, and you know, got a little feisty there with uh, m m uh, folks from Pivotal talking to Cloudera, talking to Hortonworks, uh, with of course Datamir being the outlier. Uh, talking about their approach where you don't need SQL at all on Hadoop, but uh, those are some of the big issues I'm seeing here this week. So John, what are, you, what are your thoughts on, you know, Jeff, you mentioned Pivotal. You're not hearing a ton of them today. Merv mentioned them as part of the big whales, but you know, what's your take on what's going on here? Well, first of all, on, on, I'll just link it to Pivotal in a second. I just want to give you my take on the top story here. To me, uh, I wrote on Forbes, the, I think the main story is that the signal that this ecosystem is strong and vibrant is clearly the $50 million raised from Hortonworks. And you know, there was some speculation from Kurt Monash, a friend of ours, we know him, uh, he's a hardcore analyst. I mean, he was you know, sticking the needle into, into the market by saying, hey, Hortonworks is going to be acquired, right? It's a lot of scuttlebutt around Hortonworks, the acquisition target, Intel, Microsoft, you, you pick the suspect. They're all, they've all been discussed. I think that kind of puts a, a wet blanket on that rumor uh, that they're going to be bought out. Um, $50 million in fresh financing that they just closed, Rob Bearden, obviously aggressive. So that is a signal to the health of the ecosystem. What also is interesting is Amr Awadallah on the cube here basically saying to the community directly, talking to the camera and saying, hey, this is about contributing, not just taking. Don't just take, contribute. That is an open source ethos that is just going to be driving the, the marketplace. So you're seeing the strength of the two players, okay, was once arm wrestling between Hortonworks and Cloudera. Both are standing tall and together at the altar here saying, hey, the Hadoop ecosystem is strong. Yes, there are competitors and the financing is signal that that's healthy. Um, now, will they get still acquired? I'm sure there's always discussions, but $50 million, Dave, as we said earlier, certainly changes the price of the acquisition uh, depending on when they do that, so that was big. Regarding Pivotal, I think the interesting story about Pivotal here is that they were not here very in big force. And I think that's a testament to the fact that their, their presence in the community just isn't there, right? You're seeing some contribution here and there, and I think that at the last strata we saw them make that announcement, essentially, you know, creating that, that tension, Dave, you know, with their, their comment about the contributors. Um, and so I think, I think Pivotal's just like, okay guys, we'll still leverage Hadoop. So I think they look at this community like, hey, we'll play, but we don't need to be the, the rock star in the community. We'll take Hadoop and we'll leverage it and we'll put it to the Pivotal platform. We talked to them at the, the GE Industrial Cloud event and they're clear, hey, we want to build a solution and an architecture for our customers and the future modern infrastructure. And they don't care where it comes from, <laughs> they're going to do well, that. So that's my take on I that. And I think you're right. I think, I think you know, Pivotal probably says, hey, look, we're EMC, we, we're VMware, we have venues that are frankly a lot bigger than some of these little little shows, and uh, you know we're going to use those and, and well, market well, to look, those. Look at in, look at and Intel. Intel is basically the same thing. Intel is yeah. a little bit more demo, uh, democratic because they understand how the tech industry works. You know, it is a, it is a team sport. The more developer business. friendly, wouldn't well, you say? Well, listen, listen. My experience in the tech business, 30 years, is this: um, it's a team sport. So if you you know you're wearing one sweater one day, and you could be wearing a a Blackhawks jersey the other, Dave. You don't you don't you don't know, right? What team you're going to be on? It's a team sport. People who build platforms are in it for the long long game, right? They're in it for the long haul because platform businesses are very lucrative when they pay, play out. And so it's not a short-term arbitrage game, it's a platform, it's a long game building applications. And if that it gets achieved, there's going to be serious amount of wealth creation going on. And fundamentally, that is the, the game here. People are realizing, hey, we want to create some wealth. In order to do that, you have to create business value. And I think the value card certainly needs to be played here. It's still kind of like elusive, what's the value, where's the value? That's why it's so interesting to see the $50 million, Dave, to see the, the coordination in the community and people rallying around Hadoop because it clearly is strategic. So what's your take on that? I mean, you know, you, I, I, you, you just shared with us that it's a sign, it's a signal that the you know, market's growing, things are strong, but at the same time, you know, you look at the numbers. I mean, Jeff Kelly, you did the, the, the industry's first and, and actually still only market sizing from a you know, vendor revenue share big data, when you, when you look at the pure plays, not a lot of revenue there. You know, you're talking about you know, hundreds of millions of dollars tops, so was it a case where you know, these guys needed to do a raise? Um, you know, were, were things getting tight? Or are they able to fund, you know, they're going to be able to fund their own business going forward? We're still looking for that big you know, IPO in the big data world. Splunk, yeah, Tableau, kinda, but what about the big platform guys? I think it's going to be a struggle because 
uh, we're seeing, I mean, the price uh, pressure being put on Hadoop, I mean, it's, 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 it's a race to zero at some point, right? Uh, you know, you're looking at Hadoop, uh, HDFS, really the distribution as the storage layer, uh, really the foundation of your big data platform potentially, but you know, where the real value is going to be uh, driven is off the top of the stack uh, in applications that are actually solving business problems. So, uh, that, so the question then for companies like Hortonworks and Cloudera and others are, so do we start moving up the stack ourselves? Now clearly Hortonworks is saying, we're not going to do that. We're focused on Hadoop, only Hadoop. Uh, we're investing uh, our resources into developing Yarn so that we can enable other developers, other engineers to build applications and frameworks on top to take advantage of Hadoop, but we're not going to do it ourselves, that's not our role. Whereas Cloudera is developing, admittedly in the open source world, but they're developing their own solutions on top of uh, Hadoop with Impala and with Cloudera Search. So they're, they're saying, no, we're going to go up the stack. Um, so. I, I think it's going to be interesting how this plays out. I mean, if you look at our market sizing, and uh, Hadoop revenue today is a very, very small slice. Hadoop distribution revenue, very small slice of the overall market, and it's still a very small slice, although of a bigger overall market in five years from now. So the, to us, uh, to, 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 from my point of view, the value is going to come from applications, and it's going to come from uh, the services uh, sector, when it, and if you're talking revenue, vendor revenue. Yeah, so. All right, John, we got, uh, we got another day tomorrow. We should kind of you know, talk about a little bit what we're going to see tomorrow, but uh, you got any other thoughts before we do that? Well, you know, one of our, our guests we had on here today I thought was an interesting um, perspective, and I was proud to have him on because I'm a big, big fan of Merv, at Merv, uh, with Gartner. Um, you know, you know for all the uh, kidding, I always give him Gartner about you know, the Magic Kingdom, Magic Quadrant. Uh, they do good work, and Merv is a great analyst. He was on theCUBE, he gave the keynote here in the community. He nailed it, and I thought there's three areas, we always talk about the white spaces that need to be worked on, and he, he summarized potentially our findings, Dave, as well, Wikibon, um, but he outlined it, and, and I took notes there. Three areas, security, governance, and administration. That's orchestration, administration. Those are the three main areas of the platform. Get that done, then the developer market will really be robust, so I thought that was really killer. And then I just really was excited to hear Amr Awadala on theCUBE, he looked good. Cloudera feels good right now. You're seeing uh, Cloudera looking good, and, you know, just doing the right things. Uh, Mike Olson is not here, we're trying to get him on. But Amr also talked about the key things in Hadoop. Batch, interactive in data, and machine data. Batch data, interactive data, and machine data. Those are the hallmarks. And highlighting the HTFS core. Those are very, very cool, and of course, Brian's always fantastic talking about messaging and processing and, and the importance of persistent storage. That is fundamental. So uh, that wraps up a really good and, summary and, of what and we're Rob doing. And Rob Bearden and Arun Murthy as well. Rob basically saying, look, we got we to gotta harden this, this thing called Hadoop and we got to build the data services on top of that. And, and Arun explained to us why we need yet another resource mm -hmm. negotiator. negotiator. Okay, well that's wrap up of day one, exciting day. It's really about enterprise, Hadoop. This is uh, theCUBE, this is siliconangle.com. Go to, go to youtube.com slash siliconangle, you'll see all the videos. We're broadcasting live all day tomorrow, and uh, the lineup's going to be packed again all day tomorrow. We're going to have some great guests. Uh, we're going to have uh, the, the, the vice president from Hadapt, another SQL, we're going to talk about SQL. Not a big theme in day one, we're going to have Abi Mehta from Treseda, always a great guest, the CUBE alumni. Charles Zaleski, um, Vice President of Cloudera. We're going to have Squirrel on, Nutanix, MapR. We're going to have, like I said, uh, Continuity, Jonathan Gray, and Ben Werther of Platfora. And then just some end user customers. So Stefan Groshup as well from Datamir, who's yep. an original Hadoop contributor, yeah. who's More skeptical about all this. A little more than skeptical about the SQL uh, on Hadoop. Ab about all the SQL on Hadoop right. and all, he's basically saying Hadoop was made for batch and right. will always be right. batch. So we, he tweeted me today, I'm dying to have that conversation <laughs> yeah. with you. Yeah, and you know what I love about this event, Dave? Controversy here is rabid and this is happening. People are debating, they're talking, and this is really what it's all about. I mean, this is not just people just going, you know, their blah, 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 vendor marketing stuff. This is just real people building an industry. Hadoop Summit is about these are the actors, these are the entrepreneurs, these are the companies, the tech athletes making it happen. This is theCUBE. We'll be right back uh, tomorrow. Stay tuned. Right, well, just, we'd be remiss, of course, if we didn't thank our sponsors. Uh, oh, go ahead, go we want to thank Hortonworks for having us here, and of course, uh, Teradata, uh, Squirrel, Adapt, H Streaming. Uh, we had a, help me out, uh, MapR. Uh, Nutanix, Cubol, Cloudera, Wandisco, Splunk, 
and fa fantastic sponsors. We wouldn't be here without them, so one of the, a big shout out to them. Yeah. Uh, really appreciate the support. This is really an example of the community effort in big data. Yeah, we uh, love that. We love, we love our sponsors. They allow us to be independent. They underwrite our programming, allows us to do other events editorially. There's smaller events that might not have the, the financing. This is theCUBE. This is our fourth season on theCUBE. We're excited. Uh, we'll be at Strata, Hadoop World coming up as well. We're going to be doing those events. All the events will be, will be out there. Big Data is here. We'll come back tomorrow. Stay here. We're live all day tomorrow. Hortonworks, Hadoop Summit, uh, live day two. Stay with us. Uh, for now, that's a good night. We'll see you tomorrow.